Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Either way, I'm super excited to be hanging out with you guys today and I'm especially excited for this video in particular because we're gonna be taking a first look at a brand new launch from Olaplex and this is a product that I have been dying for them to create. I've just been waiting ever since I've gotten really into Olaplex and throughout the reviews that I've created for you guys on this brand, I've just been thinking about the products that I would like them to come out with and this was number one on my list so I am super excited about it. It is their brand new hair mask. I was actually lucky enough to receive this in PR from Olaplex which is always really helpful because then I can upload more content for you guys but this is not a sponsored video so Olaplex is not paying me to upload this. Just wanted to disclose that this was gifted to me but that is never changing my opinion on a product or making me talk positively about something that I maybe didn't have a positive experience with. So of course you guys are going to get my true true honest thoughts. We're going to talk about everything about this mask from ingredients to formulation to how you're supposed to use it, how it feels. We're going to get into all the nitty gritty so that by the end of this video, you can figure out if this is worth the purchase for you or not. So before we jump into it, if you're new here, my name's Abby and I'm obsessed with all things beauty. So I upload a lot of skincare and hair care content, sometimes makeup sprinkled in every now and then. So if you're into that kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Those things really, really help to support me. So thank you so much for doing that. You should also come hang out with me on Instagram and TikTok. I have my handles right here, Abby Young on all platforms. And I recently came out with my Lightroom preset filters for editing Instagram photos. I'll show you guys a couple examples here. I am obsessed with them. So if you're interested in those, those will be listed in my description box as well. All right, that is everything. Let's talk about this mask. Okay, so really quickly, I always like to start off with some high level product details. So again, this is called their number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. It has 3.3 fluid ounces of product in it and retails for $28 like all the rest of their products. By the time that this video is up, this product will have already launched, so it is available for purchase by the time that you guys are watching this. And I love that this bottle actually comes with an airless pump, so you can actually control the amount of product that you're dispensing versus something that does not have this kind of pump, and you may end up with more product than you actually want to use on the hair. And we'll talk a little bit later about why the formulation makes that more important, but really unique packaging for a hair mask for sure. I don't have any other hair masks in packaging like this. So whenever I'm doing a review on a new product for you guys, I like to look into what the brand is saying about the product as far as the results that you can expect to see because then by the end of the video and after I'm done reviewing the product, I can let you know if I think it actually delivered on those promised results. So Olaplex actually sent me a little fact sheet with details all about this product. I will pull that up and we'll just talk through some of it together. Okay, what it is, it says it's infused with patented Olaplex bond repairing technology. It's a highly concentrated four-in-one reparative mask that will add shine and bond body while providing intense moisture to treat damaged hair. It's made without sulfates, phthalates, parabens, or gluten. It's vegan and color safe. If you're unfamiliar with Olaplex's patented ingredient that is supposed to repair those broken hair bonds, that's really what the whole Olaplex system is designed around. I will list some videos below where I talk about that in more detail. I actually have one video where I feel like I talk about that quite a bit and just the research that's out there on it, how it's supposed to work on the hair. And that's actually the same video where I show you guys my before and after transformation and using number zero and number three. So listed in my description box below if you would like to know more about that patented ingredient. I will spare you guys and not repeat myself here because we've already done that before on my channel, but I did want to highlight some of the other great ingredients in this mask. There are some really, really nice ones that I was super excited about and so many nice ingredients actually that I have to have them pulled up here on the side because I could not memorize all of these. So I would say we kind of have three different categories that really stand out to me. And the first are just a variety of really nice emollients that are going to help to soften and smooth the hair, really make the hair look shiny and feel nice and brushable and manageable. So some of those oils include avocado oil, meadow foam seed oil, rice bran oil, jojoba esters, hemp seed oil, squalane, and sunflower seed oil. Truly so many that are great. The next category that really stands out to me is actually a handful of amino acids. And if you're not familiar, with amino acids. Am I okay? <laughs> Why did I say that so weird? They basically are the building blocks of protein and proteins are one of the major structural components of our hair. I actually talked about that in a recent video where I talk about hair breakage, all the causes, how to prevent it. So I will list that below as well if you haven't seen that yet, but so many amino acids in this mask like arginine, glycine, alanine, serine, valine, isoleucine, proline, theronine, three that one I don't know how to say. Threonine? Threonine. Threonine. 
Okay, and histidine. And then the last category that I wrote down, I just titled other goodies because they're not necessarily related to each other, but they're all things that are awesome for the hair, like rosehip extract, ceramides, panthenol, hyaluronic acid, and sodium PCA. So when looking at all of those ingredients and thinking about other hair masks that I've tried before, I honestly would give this a 10 out of 10 when it comes to the ingredients. Really, really impressive. Not only do we have the bond repair, but we have so many other things that are going to not only make our hair look good, but feel good as well. Okay, now let's talk about my experience in using this and just details about how and when you're supposed to use this hair mask. So this formulation is actually very unique to my mask collection and that's because it's really, really lightweight. You guys know I've said so many times before that I typically prefer conditioners and hair masks to be on the thicker side because I only wash my hair once a week. I feel that my hair really, really needs that deep conditioning and typically those thick formulations are what give that to me, give my hair what it needs. So I was surprised by how much I loved the way that this feels. While it's lightweight, like they were saying, it truly is very concentrated. So it coats the hair super, super well. And it wasn't something that I felt didn't condition my hair enough because of how lightweight it was. I still think it did a great job at that. It just was a different formulation for me that I actually ended up really enjoying. All right, how to use this. So they say to apply it to clean damp hair and I like to apply this after shampoo because I only wash once a week and I have seven days of product buildup. I like to make sure that I have a nice clean base before applying something like this and you're supposed to focus it on your mid length to ends and use sparingly on the roots. So for me personally, I never bring hair masks above my ears. I have a very greasy scalp naturally, so my hair will start to look oily really, really quickly if I bring heavy deep conditioning products anywhere above my ears. So I really just focus this on the mid length, ponytail length of my hair, all the way through to the ends. They say to start with two pumps of product if you have shoulder length hair, if you have longer or thicker hair, you can use more product. If you have fine hair or shorter hair, you can use less. So there really isn't a specific number of pumps that's going to work for everybody. You'll just have to kind of adjust that based on what you think your hair needs. But again, you don't need to overload your hair with this product because it is so concentrated. So I would say start off with less. If you feel like it's not fully coating the hair, then you can just add a little bit more. For me personally, for reference, if any of you guys are new here, my hair is long. I have a lot of hair, but it's fine to normal as far as the actual strands go. So for me personally, I need about three to four pumps to fully coat my hair and that works perfectly for me. Then after that, you can leave it on the hair for 10 minutes, rinse it off, and you're good to go. So they say for best results to use this weekly, so once a week, if you're a once a week hair washer is great, and if you want the deepest repair possible, it will work even better if you pair it with number zero and number three. So you don't have to use it with those products, but if you are really in need of some serious damage repair, then that would be a really great little trio of products. And that is all there is to this hair mask. So I personally think it's a really, really great hair mask. I love the formulation. I love the ingredients in it. And as far as what they promise, you'll see for results. I do think that it delivers on all of those things. It adds more shine. It conditions the hair really well, or they say more moisture more smoothness to the hair and more volume. I do think it helps you to achieve all of those things. So surprise, surprise, I would definitely recommend this hair mask if you are looking for one that not only has great ingredients for the hair and just makes the hair look and feel good, but also is going to help to repair the hair as well. All right, so that is everything for this video. I really hope that this was helpful for you guys and figuring out if this is something that you wanna purchase for yourself or if you already have it. Now you know the best way to use it so that you can see the most effective results. So I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Are you going to purchase it? Do you already have it? What are your thoughts? How did it work for you? If you guys are interested in purchasing it after watching this, I will have it listed in my description box below for you guys. But let's all chat Olaplex and this hair mask in the comments. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. If there's anything else you guys would like to see from me next on this channel, leave that in the comments as well. And you guys know the drill. If you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and send my channel to a friend because all of those things really really help me out so thank you so so much for your support it honestly means the world all right you guys my next video will be up in a few days so stay tuned for that but until then i hope you have a great few days